Welcome back. The Shazoo Art Gallery downtown starting up a new exhibit called Seeing Red, and they're inviting the public to come down and take a look. Five artists are helping to put this together. Royden Josephson is one of them who's sitting next to me. It's great to have you here on the show. Thank you. Yes. Nice to be here. Yes, and Vicki Ryan, you are with Shazoo. It's great to I have am. you here as well. And how suiting that you're both wearing red because it's called Seeing Red. And we'd like to give you a Valentine. <laughs> Happy our Valentine. This is my first Valentine's Aww. card. Thank you. you. How lovely. <coughs> you can oh. sign it later. Oh, though. I will. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this. Uh, is it sort of a Valentine's theme almost because it opens on Valentine's Day, doesn't it? It, it is, but it's not. Uh, it's, it's only in color. Okay. Only in color a Valentine's theme, I guess. Um, but we did choose to open on the 14th um, for that reason. Um, but seeing red is, you know, an emotional color. Red is such an emotional color and um, passion and love and sweethearts and all of that for sure, yeah. but it's also anger and um, uh, the, the sign for stop. Uh, there, it, it's, uh, red just has so many meanings. Mm -hmm. So we really thought we could pull in um, an interesting group of artists to, uh, to express that. And so in all, there are five artists that make up this exhibition. Uh, we have some pictures that we're going to scroll through here. And Royden, I know some of yours are in here. These are sort of pre-time, five seconds each. So maybe we can speak yep. in generalities. Yeah. Um, but uh, lots of power in these pictures. Oh, lots yes. of uh, emotion. <clears throat> exactly. Three are by Anne Deal. Who's a uh, she's a Kamloops artist. Here's Royden. That's one of mine. A little more orange in there than it really is. <laughs> so, Royden, you one. used to be in art education, and That's true, now yeah. you're painting full time. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, since uh, 2003, when I switched careers, mm -hmm. um, I started. Well, of course, I've been painting and, and doing artwork for long before that. Being in, being an art teacher, you have to you have to be a practitioner as well. But mm -hmm. There's not a lot of time or energy left over for your own practice when you're when you're involved in education. I so. bet. It's so true. since 2003, I've been going pretty full time. Started with um, um, going back to school at um, uh, NASCA in uh, Halifax so, and doing some work there, and then kind of getting a kickstart for the next part of my life. What's the inspiration behind your paintings? Uh, mostly art and life, I think. You know, like um, and working. You know. The muse. The muse calls when you're working. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <laughs> well, and you're a world traveler too. Well, yeah, we spend a lot of a lot of time in uh, Europe and other parts of North America, going to galleries and and looking at, at shows. And not that I'm looking to copy anybody, but it's all you know. It kind of soaks in and, and comes mm -hmm. out uh, in mm -hmm. in your own work. You know? A lot of people are uh, sometimes as well inspired by their early years uh, and where they grew up. Uh, Manitoba is yeah. your hometown yeah. or your home province. Right. Uh, any inspiration there? Well, I think there's always an influence mm -hmm. by, by the environment of wherever you are and, and being raised on the prairies. I think that was an early, an early influence. Mm -hmm. So now I've, I've been doing a lot of work with, with lines and if they're not horizontal for the horizon, then they're vertical for the bush, you know, for the Interesting. trees. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Have you met most of the artists that are also a part of this exhibit? Um, actually, no, I haven't. I think, mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, maybe three of them, yeah. And then oh, Bill, I met, yeah. Yeah, Bill, uh, Bill, who has yeah, the big mosaic yeah. out the front. Yeah, There's Bill an artist Reiner. from New York, uh, Linda Camille Schmidt, who I haven't met yet, but we will meet. But we're going to meet this her. summer. Yeah. We have a show in New York. We're going oh, to exciting. the, yeah. the gallery's going to New York. Yes. That's excellent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this piece that we have on the table. I bet we could even get a close up of it. Thank you, Marcel. Uh, Sheila McDonald. She's Sheila one of the five McDonald. artists. She is. She's a local artist, well known to lots of Kamloops uh, folk. Um, and um, she, it's so interesting when you ask artists to, uh, to come. We just told them the name was going to be Seeing Red. We asked them months ago, and we, hers were the last pieces in uh, late last week, and they're quite joyful and somewhat different than, than obviously, they're sculptural, uh, but um, a lot of fun, and she has about 10 pieces in the show, so we're looking forward to people's reactions to them too. All right, so the public is welcome to come down and check things out beginning uh, on this Saturday, I believe. Well, yes, uh, we are opening early on Saturday, 3 to 5 to the public. There will be a private event in the evening. And then next week, we hope to see the public. Please come out and see our show uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, between 11 and 4, 4.30, we're there. Excellent. Yeah. Um, anything else that you would like to add? It sounds like a great uh, opportunity to come in and see some great art. Uh, I, I only want to say that 
uh, from the vision a year ago to what we saw, and Roy and I were there this morning, um, the little gallery is alive. It is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Trish has done a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. Trish I, I, would, I would agree wholeheartedly with that. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a wonderful little gallery, and, mm -hmm. and as you say, Trish has done a wonderful job she and really continues has. to do a wonderful job. Yeah. So hopefully the next time we see you, it'll be at the, uh, exactly. at the gallery. Exactly. <laughs> thank you. Where do you live when you're not uh, in town here then? Uh, in Ashcroft. You're in Ashcroft. Yeah. Well, thank you for yeah. making the trip in today. My pleasure. All right. Uh, again, Seeing Red uh, is going to be open to the public, uh, and it's going on for over a month, in fact. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of time to get down there, February 14th to March 27th. You can also check them out online.